Welcome everyone, I'm your host Sid. I hope you're staying safe and that your health is good. Thanks for your continuing interest in this channel. Please help out this channel by subscribing. Click on that red subscribe ball in the lower right. Also, share this video with others via email, Facebook, Twitter, or some other social media. This is one way you can help this channel to grow the number of people that speak Uchinaguchi. The background today is Toyama Kyuzo. Toyama Kyuzo is commonly referred to as the father of Okinawan emigration. Kyuzo was born in 1868 in the town of King. Kyuzo was an elementary school teacher earning 9 yen a month. It was actually very difficult for Okinawans to become teachers at that time since almost all teachers were from mainland Japan. He however eventually became the principal of King Elementary. Unfortunately at that time Okinawans were looked down on by mainland Japanese and treated accordingly. Unable to tolerate that situation he resigned his principal's post. He became an elected official and carried out many reforms. He later moved to Tokyo to study hoping to learn how to solve the the social inequities between mainland Japanese and Okinawans. There he bought a book about colonization which laid the seeds of his movement to emancipate the Okinawans and stop Okinawa from being treated as a colony. He returned to Okinawa and then began plans for people to emigrate from Okinawa as a way to emancipate Okinawans. In 1899, he planned and sent a group of 26 Okinawans to go to Hawaii. Six Okinawans from this group returned back to Okinawa and bought land and houses with the money they earned in Hawaii. Many people saw this and also wanted to emigrate to Hawaii. Eventually more Okinawans emigrated to Hawaii as well as North America, the Philippines, Mexico and South America. Kyuso passed away at the young age of 43 due to illness and is now buried in Hawaii. Let's begin today's topic. Today's topic is the Uchinaguchi particle ung. It is equivalent to the Japanese particle mo. The particle ung means to or also. I will present three examples. The routine will be to present the English sentence followed by equivalent Japanese sentence followed by the Uchinaguchi sentence. Our first example is Uchinaguchi is also a language. In Japanese, it is Okinawa go mo kokugo desu. In Uchinaguchi, it is Uchinaguchin kutuba yaibing. The next example is the sponge gourd is also a vegetable. In Japanese, it is Hechima mo yasai desu. In Uchinaguchi, it is Nabe rang yashei yaibing. A third example is the houses in Okinawa are also expensive. In Japanese, it is Okinawa no ie mo takai desu. In Uchinaguchi, it is Uchinanu yang takasaibing. Next is a special grammatical rule for the ung particle. It seems that Uchinaguchi has a lot of special grammatical rules, however, I digress. It is difficult to pronounce a double ung if the noun ends with ung. To make it easier, the rule is that the ung in the noun changes to nu. So let's look at some examples. Our first example is the word chawang which means bowl. To say bowl also is chawanung. Our next example is the Uchinaguchi word ningjing, which means human being. To say human being also is ningjingnung. Our final example is the word restaurant, which is gairaigo, meaning restaurant. To say restaurant also is restaurantnung. There is an exception to this special rule, and it only applies to one word. The word I or me in Uchinaguchi is wang. I also in Japanese is watashi mo. The special grammatical rule does not apply to wang, so to say I also is not wanung. To say I also in Uchinaguchi is wanning. Remember, this exception only applies to wang. If you found this video interesting, please share this video via email, Facebook, Twitter, or some other social media with your family and friends. Also, like if you enjoyed this video. This along with comments are the only way I know if the videos were appreciated. So this concludes this video. 
as always, thank you for being Mata Yasai. Thank you.